welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make apple turnovers. If you don't know what those are, then today you're about to find out. They make a hell of a lot of mess, but they are awesome and delicious. To make our apple turnovers, you will need some cooking apples. I've got some Bramley cooking apples here. Or Granny Smith's will do just fine. A lemon, cinnamon, brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar, some not shop bought inverted puff pastry. Um, if you want to learn how to make this yourselves, just click on the link over there. And of course, as always, you need to stay hydrated whilst you cook. So get yourself a nice cup of hot tea. First thing we're going to do is prep our filling for our apple turnovers. And so what I've done is I've diced the apples into pieces about this size. And what I've done, I've uh, put two thirds of the apples in one bowl and a third in the other. I've juiced the lemon. And now what I'm going to do is pour, try as much as I can to divide the lemon juice. Um, we do this to prevent the apples from browning and losing their color. We just stir that in. Into the third part of our apples, we're going to pour in our sugar, put in a tablespoon and a half of the apple cider vinegar. Mix that together. This smaller portion of apples is now going to go into the microwave uh, to cook the apples. If you don't have a, mic a microwave or you just choose not to use one, you can do this on a pot on your stove. Our apples are nice and hot and cooked, and when I taste them, oh, beautifully tart, but at the same time, sweet, beautifully balanced in flavor. Now what we're going to do, we're going to blend this until smooth to form a rich compote that is going to be a major component of our filling. Bear with me on this because I know when you make this, it will appear to you to look like uh, baby food, but um, this is what all of the best apple filled pastries have at their core. To our compote now, we're going to add the cinnamon, stir that in, put this to one side, and now what we're going to do is cook the apples just until they're tender. In a pan, I'm gonna melt some butter on a very high heat before adding in the apples. We want to cook them on a very high heat because we want to evaporate the majority of the liquid within them so that the inside of our apple turnovers don't turn out to be soggy. Now we're going to transfer our apples back into the bowl. Then our compote is going to be added to the apples. Going to mix that together gently. You don't want to break the apples down. I can tell you this smells amazing. It smells the whole flat here for me smells of apples. And apple turnovers really is something really cheap, cheap and easy that um, most people in the UK can just pick up in any supermarket. They're widely available and we just we love them. <laughs> Anything with apples, to be honest, in the UK we we adore. Okay, the filling for our apple turnovers is ready and we're going to put this to one side to cool down and then focus on our pastry. As you can see with our puff pastry, I'm rolling it out before trimming each and every one of the edges to make it a nice rectangular shape, dividing it. Lightly brush each of the divisions on all sides with water. This helps them to stick when we fold them over. And then filling these divisions with our filling that we made earlier before folding them over and truly turning this into an apple turnover then lay them on the tray crucially upside down before egg washing each and every one of them scoring them pricking them with a toothpick to allow steam to escape and then sliding them into the oven to bake and here we are the point that probably most of you have been waiting for the tasting I've had to exercise a little bit of willpower because you know these came out hot from the oven and now they are warm and at the perfect temperature. Now here's the test, these should make an, a mess all over this place because that's how good puff pastry should behave. Mm -hmm. The apple is still a bit sour, 
You've got the sweetness, the pastry is flaky, crunchy, buttery. Honestly, this is such an amazing snack and of course, accompanied with tea. Got to be done. Mm. Yep. It makes a mess. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brilliantly British. Hopefully now you feel inspired to make these apple turnovers. Help me share the message about Brilliantly British food. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will see you next time. Bye bye for now. Subscribe, yeah. Do it, do it now. Please, please. please. <laughs> I'll see you bye bye now. <laughs>